Hey, you've got mail. Hey, this is Rich from housebrands.com. Our family renovates houses. And today we're gonna to show you a new gadget that's out on the market and it's called a mailbox sensor. Our dad is now 87 years old. Here's a photo of him when he was in the Navy in the Korean War. So being 87, dad isn't getting around quite the way he used to. And it's actually a bit of an effort to get out to the mailbox. And so the last thing he wants is to make that trek out to the mailbox and find out that the mail hasn't even been here and he's got to go and do the trip again later in the day. So he has done the somewhat ingenious hack for quite a while. So this is his mailbox here. And what he does is he takes these little magazine subscription cards and he's got evidently hundreds of them. And so he'll just put that in the mailbox. It's not even filled out. And then he'll put the flag up. And then that way, he can just look out the window and know if the mailman's been here because if the flag goes down, well, then obviously the mailman has been here and the mail's in the mailbox. So I thought, you know, surely somebody has invented some kind of a mailbox sensor. I searched for it on the internet and sure enough, I did find one. So we'll unbox it and set it up see how it works okay so here's the product and it's called the mail chime and it's by a company called hannah products so on the back of the package here it shows how they say there's three kinds of mailboxes that you might have one could be a slot mailbox and that would be how you install the sensor there this is the curb side mailbox and the sensor will go right there in the part that comes down and then this is a wall mounted mailbox and the sensor would just go right there on top okay so let's open this up and see what we've got Okay, so here are the contents of the box, and this is the receiver right here. It's gonna have both an audio signal and a light that will light up. This is the transmitter, and this is what we're going to attach inside the mailbox. And this is the power adapter. It also came with this little battery here that we're gonna put into the transmitter. And it's got these little bitty screws. There's four of them that we need to remove, so just we're using a very small Phillips screwdriver to get those out. Okay, so it has these four screws that we have to take out and then it opens up like that and the battery goes right into this little compartment. The positive side is here on the right. All right, so that should be good. Now we just have to put the four screws back in. All right, so this transmitter has different settings here on this little dial. And in our case, we want it to be on number four, which is right there. And the, the different settings depend on which kind of mailbox you have, but this is the most common setup and it would be on number four. And they, they want us to remove this, this backing here. And then there's gonna be tape underneath there Okay, so we're attaching that so the arrows face up when the door is closed. Just press it firmly. Now we'll go inside and do the rest of the install. Now we're gonna plug this AC adapter into the back of the receiver. And then we're gonna plug the AC adapter into an outlet. And this has a little antenna that we're going to straighten up. All right, so now that is active. All right, so now my dad's going out to open the mailbox and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we're going to get a light and a chime. Hey. Hooray. Sounds like it works. It's a little bit loud for me, <laughs> but uh, definitely you can see the light lit up. Hey, you've got mail. All right, so there's a volume control here on the back if that's a little bit too loud. And I definitely thought it was a little bit too loud. So um, now if that doesn't work, it could be that 
that dial that's out in the mailbox is on the wrong number. So it had four different options, one, two, three, and four. And you could just look at the instruction booklet to figure out, you know, which would be the appropriate setting for your setup. Okay, so after you get your mail, you can just hit this button and now the light goes out and it won't come back on again until the mail comes again. In the instruction booklet, the company says that if you have an extra large metal mailbox, that the signal may not transmit well. And in that case, you're actually supposed to put a block of wood inside the mailbox. So evidently there's too much metal interfering with the signal. So anyway, you'll figure it out. All right, well, there you have it. It is the mail chime. Now our dad won't have to use those magazine subscription cards anymore. And he'll always be notified when this little red light lights up. So my dad pointed out that it'd be very handy on a day that it's you know rainy or snowy or icy or something. So you're not making a wasted trip out to your mailbox. And he also said that he has some neighbors that are disabled and it's really quite difficult for them to get out to their mailbox. And so at least with a device like this, you're not making any wasted trips and you know your mail is gonna be there. So I hope this helps. If you got anything out of the video, if you could hit the thumbs up, that helps out our channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thanks very much for viewing and we'll see you in this video.